Welcome back to MJ Show and Tell, everyone. Hello. I hope you're all doing good, and thank you for subscribing to the channel. Now, today's reaction, I will be going behind the scenes of Michael Jackson's legendary History World Tour. Now, the History World Tour begun in Prague in the Czech Republic on the 7th of September back in 1996, and the tour ended in Durban, South Africa on October 15th, 1997. The History World Tour had 82 concerts, visiting 57 cities in 35 countries on five continents. And Michael Jackson reached over 4.5 million of his fans all around the world. And at the box office, it took more than $160 million. How fantastic is that? And I love the History World Tour. You've all seen my reactions. I've done quite a lot on the History World Tour. And I think one of my favourites is the Munich concert from 1997. There is so much good performances by Michael. And the picture quality is one of the best. Should we all get into this reaction and watch Michael Jackson behind the scenes on his History World Tour? Are you all ready for this? Are you all ready? Let's do this. Let's go. King of Pop, Michael Jackson, History World Tour. Are you all ready for this? Behind the scenes. side of the stage. Oh, I love this song. That is the tank they use on the air song. speakers and all the lights There's so much work that goes into one concert. Size of that I stage. first found out about the history tour from uh, when I received a telephone call from MJ uh, while I was uh, co.
staging and choreographing the opening and closing ceremonies for the Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia. Be very careful in the corners where the safety tape is. There's Don't Michael. Your fingers through the holes. The plexiglass will keep you inside the piece. And we're going to go through a musical thing with you and the dancers. I think the ahead. biggest challenge for all of us was time. However, we all knew what the work was ahead of us. I love that. He tells you the concept of what his look is. And he knows what the look will be, but it's my job to make it work around his body movements. His concept is it's like a military code. And then turning it in, not really like you're becoming an engineer, you're engineering the clothes, not just making the garment. They're engineered to work around his body. Oh, there's a space shuttle. Bob Hood, we're gonna need more than that. Yeah. There's Michael. And there's Michael. By the time you finish with this, that door should be in behind you, no problem. I started professionally with Michael 17 and a half years ago in 79. And uh, this is my fifth tour, my 20th tour throughout my career. Performing on that level, uh, the level that Michael uh, performs on and entertains people on, it's a challenge and to be up on that level with him and be along for the ride and watch the magic and artistry uh, go through his paces with the audience. And you know you got to be alert, you got to be on your toes, you got to be aware of everything around. I have to really key into him for his dance movements. I love ac accenting the things he does and bringing it to life. We try to get this big cycle of energy running through the arena. And we try to charge each other. We try to live off that and thrive off that for about two and a half hours. I've never seen anyone work as hard as he does. And it's very inspiring, so it makes you work very hard. It brings you to your peak level of abilities. Incredible. I'm enjoying this tour. I, love I that. enjoyed the bad tour. I enjoyed the dangerous tour. This tour, because it's something new, we're doing a lot of new things. I feel a lot of new energy from the boss. Any time that I can, I, I will, because I enjoy his aura, his spirit, and most of all, his music. Just for you, just for the people who don't know, that is Kenny Ortega, who worked with Michael on This Is It. He comes up basically with it, with, with ideas and concepts, and he knows what he wants. And it's just amazing to watch him work that way because it's like um, he calls it brainstorming, and it's absolutely amazing to see him brainstorm. Everybody push yourself so that you're right by the light, so the light is shining up on you. It's like going back to school. You know, it's like going back to school, learning math and English again, and, but as far as dance was, chore choreography was. It's all big, huge thing. It's big, huge color, confetti, everything. Wow, wind blowing. As big as it 
possibly that he goes all the way out to the tip of it, brings it all the way back out, goes into the song. Every day creates a history, 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 history. And then as he's going down, you guys are going out, and the stage is just like empty. And I'm just repaying up on the thing. But I just be like, what just happened? You know, it's always a partnership with Michael. I was co-directing and co-conceptualizing and and co-staging, that I had a strong partner there that really had belief in um, the potential of this tour from the very start. But the challenge, I think, was just in the, in the physical time that we had. Could we get everything built? Could we practice with everything in time? Watching it on stage, I basically learn something every every time. I learn something. I go home trying to, you know, irritate Michael. So <laughs> it's great. This is absolutely fantastic to watch. I have never actually seen this before. This is the first time. build a tank right. and a tank. where will it come from and how will we get it up there and <laughs> um, basically designed the stage around being able to you know accomplish this feat I think that is the Muna concert this one and that's the rehearsal one of the most powerful moments for me was to be in uh, Romania. Three, four years ago, there were tanks, you know, rolling down the streets of this country and a piece of their history, their recent history, that had very strong memories still attached to it, all of a sudden came out onto that stage and they were looking at it. was 
complete quiet. There was like this total silence with 40,000 plus people in the audience. The applause started softly and then just started to build and build and build and build. And you could feel the emotion, the memories, the history of these people, this country, and the appreciation of, of Michael's sensitivity toward them. Oh. Wow. Michael Jackson's really cool and I really like him. I think he's great. Aww. He makes everybody equal to one another and he makes us realise that all people are the same. Mm -hmm. No matter if you're rich or poor, if you're black or white, or wow. any other stuff, and not to be materialistic, but to love someone for who they are. He's just a legend, truly, and um, yeah. he's a great person, and that's why he's so noticed around the world. I think he's a real genius. The music he comes up with and the melodies, they really, really shocks you with every album. When I'm near him, or even if it's like not near him, but I know he's like in the vicinity, you just get this adrenaline rush, and um, it's, you can't really explain it, but it's just, I love him so much. I love him and I just want to hug him. Pretty happy. <laughs> and uh, the best part is his dancing, you know. I love you, Michael. I'm just intrigued by it. It's, it's like seeing something. Uh, uh, I don't think anybody in this world can wow. imitate the way he dances, the way he, he, he sings, you know. So he's something very unique, a very unique creature in the world. He's a great singer. <laughs> You're the king of pop. I love him. He's wonderful. He's just the very, very best. We love him. He's <laughs> my hero. Yes. He has a great him. sense of uh, personality. Well, you can call him a phenomenon in his own self. He's the king of pop. Uh -huh. He's the best. He is just such a superb dancer. He is just the most awesome entertainer of all time. I want to see him. I want to be with him all the time. He's a fantastic dancer. His style, his dancing, his clothes. Oh. We all love Michael forever. That's all. <laughs> Michael Jackson has the best fans all around the world. Wow. <laughs> What a moment to meet Michael Jackson live on stage. For all these people, all these fans. Incredible. <laughs> She, don't, she just met Michael Jackson on stage.
Oh, wow, look at all the paparazzi. Everybody wants a picture with Michael. This is the effect that Michael Jackson had on everyone. Everybody chasing his car. The thousands of fans of Michael's. That was a bit crazy. Oh, where's the concert?
Magic Michael. I love this. Love this song. So amazing. You know, when you're just walking down the street, you see a little child just singing a song or just like him. Or you he has done a lot of of good for the, for the poor, the, the kids, you know, the underprivileged uh, people. Give him a big hug for what he's done for for all the children and the charity that he's contributed. He has actually been very concerned over the orphan and orphans and those um, disabled children and all. For those of you who don't know, Michael Jackson actually contributed all the profits from the History World Tour to charity. Incredible millions of dollars. I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. it just takes so much time, kids. Together. 
Michael, you are a genius. Yeah. Did you all love that? That was behind the scenes of Michael Jackson's History World Tour. That was incredible to see. Well, the part where he was chased by loads of fans. I know now why Michael needed so much security. It went a bit wild. But Michael Jackson visited children's homes, sick children, giving away hundreds of thousands of dollars to children in need who needed help, sick children all over the world. He was such a great humanitarian and a history world tour. Oh, fantastic. Did you all like that? What did you all think of that? Did you enjoy it? Write me a comment down below what you think of behind the scenes of the history tour. And thank you all for joining me on this reaction. I absolutely love that. And thank you all for subscribing to the channel. And I will see you all on the next reaction. Goodbye, everyone.